once awareness comes in there, it cannot, the old programs of the robot are not going to be there anymore. That's why I'm saying certain things I can share with you verbally and giving you the know-how, but you can't fix it. Even though when I'm readily telling you what to do, you can't do it because it's in the cellular memory. So we have to change the cellular memory through raising your vibrations to a higher frequency. That requires certain kind of active, powerful meditations that they raise vibrations to a higher frequency. That requires mastery. That's why we have the self-awakening mastery workshop. So we can change these old un un unconscious patterns in our psyche. Me simply giving you instructions is not enough. You got to get into it and changing patterns. Ms. Hilda. Do you have any instant coffee in your house? Yeah. Um, go, go make your. You're making me sleepy by yawning. Go make yourself some coffee, my dear, and come back. <laughs> Stop yawning. <laughs> you're putting me to sleep. So, <laughs> so, you get into a habit, you, again, you got to do it. I can't do it for you, okay? I'm going to tell you what to do, how to do it, which, where to go, where to you look. But at the end of the day, you are the one who's going to have to do it. I can't do it for you. So you have to be attentive. And if this has to get ingrained into your daily practice. Because sometimes I work with people and they say, oh yeah, I did this thing you said last week. I go, well, what about now? Well, that was last week teachings. I said, no, this is going to have to be every day. You have to do it every single day because you didn't become who you are and what you are overnight. It took 50, 60, 30 years that you've been conditioned to react unconsciously to things. Since, and since we're deriving our peace, we're, we are looking for utter peace. We're looking for peace in the world. So since we're already conditioned that any kind of peace is or love is coming from the outside. So we're already addicted to the news. And we're looking for getting some piece of news or movement or something that gives us peace. And the news they're all about creating fear, worry, and anxiety. There's, no one's going to come on the national TV prime time at 8 o'clock in the evening tell you about good stuff happening in the world. Oh, there's 10,000 people sat together in meditation for one hour. There is a new discovery of Da, 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 that heals cancer or there is people neighbors helping each other in such such country and spreading love you don't hear these kind of things never you only hear bad stuff so since you are conditioned 
to get look for peace outside of yourself when when you look outside of yourself you only get fear worry anxiety so we have to uncondition you bring you back to zero point and then reprogram you not reprogram you with another set of belief system when i say reprogram you I'm not talking about let's take the old belief system and replace it with a new belief system. No. Reprogramming, what I mean when I say that is to keep you in this empty space to help you to dive back to your original state, which is equilibrium, balance, peace not replacing you with a new set of belief system because that's not what I teach. To bring you back home. So your intuition, your powerful, powerful intuition is leading you. So you can become sensitive to hear your inner voice, inner guidance, your inner guru speaking to you so you can really and learning the language to communicate with your inner guru because that's a language and that's why barely barely it's very very rare there's been maybe one or two or three people in past few hundred years that intuitively they were getting deriving information from their inner guru the rest of us we need an utter guru we need an utter other teacher because we understand the language we don't understand the inner guru's language till we get to that point that we're sensitive enough we're quiet enough and we're detached from the other world then you can communicate with your inner teacher and that takes time to get that it's not an overnight thing so fear is another thought it's a thought that comes to your mind Thoughts are empty and thoughts are weightless. They have no weight. I want to read something to you from Lightning Notes of Zarathustra. There's 99 writings here. And uh, thoughts and feelings. Page 114. Let me read this to you. Thoughts and feelings. You are neither your thoughts nor your feelings. What you are is the witness of them both. When thoughts and feelings are passing through you, instead of you identifying with them as who you are, you can just witness them. And soon they will pass right through. And this goes on. I don't feel like reading everything. But basically, thoughts are weightless. Thoughts don't have any weight. When you pick one thought, then it drags you down and it makes you bend. It literally bends your back. Your spine gets bent. Because thoughts are weightless till you pick them up. So you pick up these thoughts. And it's mainly fear, worry, anxiety. A lot of it is coming, A, is related to the fear of death, of dying. 